Hello, I'm Jessica Boyer with your SCV News Break for Tuesday, April 14th. A Canyon Country man accused of fatally shooting his father agreed to a plea deal Tuesday. 32-year-old Juan Alexander Meja is expected to receive 15 years in prison at his June sentencing. Two additional charges of gross negligence in the discharge of a firearm and receiving stolen property are expected to be dropped as part of the terms of the plea deal. The expected sentence will mean Meja must serve at least 15 years before being eligible for parole. The shooting of Meja's father, who goes by the same name, took place on May 16, 2013. Detectives suspect Meha came home intoxicated and began to argue with his parents before producing a gun and shooting his father in the head. According to arrest records, Meha is being held in lieu of $2,055,000 bail at the Pitches Detention Center. The National Park Service has released the Rim of the Valley Draft Special Resource Study and Environmental Assessment for review. Their study examined the possibility of expanding the boundary of the Santa Monica Mountains National Recreation Area to include Rim of the Valley. The study began in 2010 and published its findings in 2012 for the purpose of protecting national resources in densely populated areas. Now the community will have the opportunity to provide feedback. The next meeting will be held in Newhall on Tuesday, May 5th from 7 to 9 p.m. at the Hart Hall in Hart Park. Cowboy Festival tickets are still on sale. The festival will be held in its new location in Old Town New Hall on April 15th through the 19th. One day admission ticket prices start at $10 for adults and $7 for kids. Concert prices vary. Marie Wise Hawkins concert tickets are also still on sale. The show at Heritage Junction is Saturday night from 6 to 9 p.m. and features dinner and a beer garden. Six women who made an impact on humanity and culture were portrayed by staff and students at Saugus High School Tuesday. The 8th Annual Women in History program was sponsored by the American Association of University Women and showed students what women have done over the course of our history. Portrayals of Annie Jump Cannon, Rosalind Franklin, Mary Temple Grandin, Bethany Hamilton, Annie Smith Peck, and Condoleezza Rice were all part of the Women in History program. Now for your local traffic update. Caltrans again is planning to implement closures on the SR14, I-5, and I-210 freeways this week. Up to two lanes will be closed from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. from Sierra Highway to the I-5. The southbound SR14 connector to the southbound I-5 will be closed from 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. The I-5 will have up to two northbound and southbound lanes closed from Balboa to Weldon Canyon from 9 p.m. to 5 p.m. In addition to freeway closures, local residents should expect lane closures to be in effect during the Santa Clarita Cowboy Festival this weekend. Newhall Avenue between Market Street and Railroad Avenue will be shut down from 1 p.m. on Friday, April 17th until 7 p.m. on Sunday, April 19th. There will be a shuttle drop-off area for Cowboy Festival visitors. For more information on traffic in Santa Clarita, visit scvnews.com or hometownstation.com. Don't forget, tomorrow is the last day to file your taxes. The U.S. Postal Service is helping last-minute tax filers by accepting stamped mail late on April 15th at the Santa Clarita Processing and Distribution Center. Envelopes with postage affixed will be accepted until 9 p.m. and still receive an April 15th postmark. All other collection boxes and offices will be collecting mail during normal business hours only. The postage office is advising tax filers to plan ahead and mail early. Filers are also encouraged to double check their proper IRS and return addresses. Now turning to weather. Santa Clarita held highs in the mid-70s. Overnight lows are expected to drop into the mid-40s. The rest of the week is going to slowly rise in temperatures from the low 80s to the upper 80s by Saturday. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching, I'm Jessica Boyer.